I'm Eric Grima, uh, head coach over at Stonewood High School. And were you a high school gymnast? Yeah, I went to Conan here, uh, started my freshman year. I think coming in and not really knowing anything and just, I don't know, trying to find what my talents are in the sport. Did you find it? Yeah. It turns out I'm fairly strong and I like the flange position. So rings and P-bars became really easy for me. Outside of like, you know, meddling at state and all that stuff, I think it's like the lifelong friends that I have. You know, I still have, I'm still friends with a lot of the guys that I'm te I was teammates with and just a lot of kids from other teams. I still have, I'm in regular contact with even 16 years later, 17 years later. I, think, I see a lot of these kids struggling to find a place where they belong. I think that sense of community and the sense of accountability and, you know, knowing what it feels like to be a part of the team. We don't have, most of the kids on our, on our program really never did any other sports growing up. Uh, so them learning kind of what it means to be a teammate and being accountable for not just yourself, but because you're part of something bigger than just yourself. I think it's one of the main issues is trying to get them to kind of buy into that. I think you see major growth. I think at the freshman level, you see a lot of these kids come in. They're very timid. We have a tendency to get a lot of outsiders, the kids who don't quite know where they belong. Um, and then they kind of develop into strong young men. I have a young man on my team right now who's a junior. Uh, he came in with uh, low-functioning autism, um, was very nonverbal, very, very low, low levels of communication. Um, would only communicate to us through his brother, who is also on the team. Which, and now, as a junior, he actually is cracking jokes with other members of the team and stuff like that. So I think that, showing that level of growth and seeing that kind of kid, the kid who doesn't quite belong anywhere else, where there's no other sport that would accept him in the way that I feel like gymnastics can. We get kids from all walks of life, from every type of background, right? We don't just get one specific type of kid, right? We get the athletes, we get the outcasts, we get the... We get the nerds, we get everybody, you know, everybody's welcome in our gym, as long as they are coming in and willing to work. I think Illinois needs this sport. I think these high school kids need this sport. It's a sport unlike any other, right? We accept everybody and anybody, no matter what your body type. If you look around, if you go to any competition, you will see every type of body. Every tall, short, stocky, skinny, everything. It's not like football where if you're not, you know, a broad shouldered six foot kid, you can't be successful. Um, and I think that's I think that's why Illinois is one of the unique states where we have gymnastics left. And you know, I think that that's what makes us special.